Diaz, one bout even. He's now fighting out of the Bronx in New York, but he is originally from Ciudad de Mexico, damas y caballeros, here is the undefeated challenger, Emanuel. out of the red corner wearing red trimmed with black he officially weighs 120 pounds his professional record 36 victories including 27 knockouts with only two defeats and one draw from general santo city philippines ladies and gentlemen the defending ibf junior featherweight champion of the world manny pacquiao Gentlemen, I already gave you first instructions as the dress rooms. Do you have any questions? That's it, lots of Come back for the bell. Good luck. Manny Pacquiao is uh, one of the rare southpaws that's fun to watch. Although Lucera undoubtedly will have a, a different perspective on that. Yeah, Larry, I think uh, Manny Pacquiao is one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound. What I've saw, we can do a little bit of everything. Lucero gets low and tries to get to the body. Swings wide, but with force. Pacquiao is a devastating over-the-top puncher who's best when he remembers to throw his jab, but often forgets and just engages toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Part of Pacquiao's job here, Emmanuel, is to remember to box, but he's basically been separated from trainer Freddie Roach for 13 months. How can Roach get him to do what he needs him to do with virtually no contact with the fighter? Well, the fact that he's worked with him before will help somewhat, but in addition to not being working with Freddie, which he should have, he's been getting in a lot of trouble and not training properly, according to the reports we've been getting from the Philippines. Which he denies, uh, we should uh, point out. There was yes. a report of one barroom brawl, and, and Pacquiao said, oh, no, no, just a couple of beer bottles that broke, <laughs> apparently without help. Well, if you read between the reports, which I'm quite sure we did, I believe there's some truth to some of that. Lucero, Lucero gets off a moment with Pacquiao pinned in the corner, and the crowd responds. Lucero, originally from Mexico City, will have the support of this largely Mexican-American audience in the Olympic. <laughs> Very unusual to have a Mexican that comes from New York. But nevertheless, he is a Mexican, and the Mexican crowd has responded tremendously to him, even though Pacquiao trains here in Los Angeles. Pacquiao trying to generate a rhythm in round one. He's having a problem getting close to Lucero, and is getting so low, but then he can't operate too effectively himself from that position without telegraphing. Now Pacquiao manages to land a straight left hand. Hasn't made his jab effective so far. It's going to be difficult to do that if Lucero continues to fight in this exaggerated crouch. Yeah, it's almost like a crowd. He's dropping it extremely low, and actually, according to the rules, you're not supposed to go below your opponent's waistline, which he's did on a few occasions. Now Pacquiao straightens him up with a left hand, and Pacquiao pins him against the ropes. Lucero trying to duck everything. He's ducking, but he can't operate too effective himself from down there. No, there's, it's impossible to mount a counter offense when, when that's your defensive strategy is to, to get that low. That's right, and I think Pacquiao's uh, starting to get his just, uh, distance on down. to do most of the damage here in an odd and awkward first round. Yeah, and he's trying to tap him with Bob and Weaver and trying to shoot his left uppercut now as he sees him going down. Lucero increasingly defensive, hasn't thrown that many punches in the second half of the round. As we go to the corners, there will be interpreters in both corners. In Pacquiao's corner, where they will be speaking the Filipino native language of Tagalog, our interpreter is Ernie Kalua. Go 
only get excited and don't take your time, okay? You want to take your time with this guy, okay? Now use your feints. When you feint him, he'll bend into the shot, okay? Here, I want you to bend your knees and look at the body shot, okay? Okay, champ. Champ, hey champ, that wasn't our plan. Okay, our plan is to get air low. Yeah, don't Sessio fall asleep. Spanish, okay. Our interpreters, Ray Torres. You gotta move your head. Throw your hands on the bottom and the top, and a straight right hand to the head. Lucero may have fought in that style in the first round, simply uh, dealing with a case of nerves. He's never been in a fight against a major fighter. Box numbers in round one. Pacquiao landing 16 out of 64, including seven of 29 jabs. Lucero was only five of 41. If Manny can keep finding a way to throw nearly 30 jabs in the round, I'm not sure how Lucero is going to get at him effectively, Emmanuel. No, Lucero can't do too much effectively, and especially when it comes to throwing combinations. When you crouch that low, you can basically spring with one punch, and after that, you've lost your balance usually. Lucero was supremely confident in his discussions with us yesterday. May have underestimated the hand speed of Pacquiao, as some opponents do. Yeah, Pacquiao's got a lot of experience. Don't forget, he's a two-time world champion. And he's had a lot of experience. And he's gradually following instructions of his cornerman, Freddie Roach, which is basically to jab, take your time, relax, and trigger his man out. I don't think he's going to be able to hit him to the body that effective, though. Pacquiao taking advantage of a slow break at the end of that clinch to hit Lucero with a left hand over the top. Seems to have momentarily stunned Lucero. Now Pacquiao tries to continue the attack. As the fight goes on, Lucero's going to pull his head up more and more because he's going to find himself very much out of the fight when he's bobbing and weaving that low. Well, not to mention that it's going to be physically exhausting for him to try to stay yes, down in that will. crouch. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's a three-punch combination by Lucero, one of the first multiple punch combinations he's tried in the fight. Lucero's hands look slow in this round. Body shot by Pacquiao and a big left hand. Again with the body, Lucero just taking the punishment and trying to duck away. And it's very physically tiresome when you're bobbing and weaving that low also. Everything that's happening on top of your back and on your shoulders tires you out a lot more. Lucero won a lot of amateur fights with this style. Golden Glove Championships, New York State Amateur Championships. He must have just overwhelmed people. When you have a guy fight punch swinging like that, the best thing, make him miss completely. That way he loses his balance. You don't block his punches, you just let him miss completely. Pacquiao lands the straight left hand again. Fight has been one-sided in terms of meaningful contact as virtually all of the real scoring blows have been landed by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, argues that his 122-pound fighter struggling to make weight would be a threat to knock out 126-pound kingpins Eric Morales and Marco Antonio Barrera. Your take? I think he would definitely be a threat for both of those guys. Mark your calendars, meanwhile. August 16, Boxing After Dark returns with a featherweight unification bout between Derek Gaynor and Juan Manuel Marquez. August 21 on HBO Latino. Tune in for the next Oscar De La Hoya Presents Boxeo de Oro featuring Jose Navarro. September 13 on HBO Pay-Per-View. It's the highly anticipated rematch between Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya, and Shane Mosley. Mosley won the first meeting by split decision three years ago. HBO Boxing for 30 years, building legends. One round at a time. Okay, you don't like the body shot, you hear me? Legs up against the body, jack with the knife. Uh, you gotta be lively now. Notice that Freddie Roach is speaking English to Manny.